go. And we are off. I'm going to move this one to the side. I don't want to delete the default cube. I'm going to shift A and let's add a new mesh here. Let's do a UV sphere. Shift select the cube, control L and get the material across. Tab into edit mode, A scale zero on the left side and make it orange. We're going to make a pumpkin to celebrate Halloween that's coming up soon. I'm going to go to front view. Now we can actually hide the cube. I just needed to have it there to get the material across. So tab into edit mode. Uh, we got proportional, that's already on G, Z, squash it, make it a pumpkin shape. And here we go. And uh, we should also solidify it. So we'll go into modifier here and add the solidify, modify, <laughs> solidify modifier. No editing this away. And we can squash it a little bit. And now we should see how thick it'll become. That should be a good thickness, I think. Control A to apply that one. Tab, Alt Z. And maybe we'll, let's see, we'll do... L to select the link here, and then Control I to select the interior ones. We can do Alt Z here, so we see, yep, they're selected. G and move that to black. We want to have a black inside the head here. Alt Z, and now we can. Uh, should we do the little top thing here? No, first we'll do uh, some rivets or like creases. So I'll Alt Shift select every other strip around here. And this could become an enemy for the bolt tutorial that I've just made. The Bolt versus uh, Unity scripting thing and the whole uh, project that we've been going in the little mini series. So maybe we can convert this pumpkin into a little enemy in that one later on. So here we uh, switch the proportional now to random and then Alt S to scale it along its own normals here. And I think that should be sufficient. We've got eight minutes on the clock, 8.15. And we can also do here on the top, we'll do C for circle select, make sure everything is selected there. And then uh, we have this uh, loop tools thing we can go on. That's an add-on circle. And then maybe scale that one down slightly. Take off proportional. And then E to extrude, S to scale, E to extrude, S to scale. R to rotate, <laughs> E to extrude, S to scale. Control plus. This could be green. I think it's green. Is it green or brown or black? I don't know. And we should really round it off a little bit more here. So circle select, E to extrude, S to scale it down to there. Okay, now we need to make a face on the tip of this pumpkin as well. And how should we do that? We can uh, borrow a few of these faces, I guess. Borrow a few faces to make a face. So we'll copy those for the eyes, and then we'll do a little shape for a mouth here. So we'll just grab some random faces. Maybe I'll skip those. Try to get the symmetry going here as well. That should do it. <clears throat> Shift D to duplicate it. Move it to the side. Move it forward. And then... P to separate this into a new object here. Go to front view, and then we should rearrange these a little bit. So tab into edit mode, A to select, no, 1 to select, vertex select. And then we can shape these eyes. It doesn't have to be perfect, I can scale it out a little bit more. We should get some uh, mean looking eyes here. And they don't have to be uh, symmetrical. No one cuts a pumpkin sim exactly symmetrical, that would be a feat. Since they're not even symmetrical to begin with. So shape these in a shape of eyes here in shape of eyes. A little bit similar they should be. So what do the aggressive eyes look like? Maybe like this. Evil. It's going to be an evil pumpkin. So, and then same for the mouth here. You can do a few things. Uh, this is feels weird, but it has to be a world first at least. I have to do one minute. That's ten minutes long <laughs> when it says it's ten minutes. So it's going to one episode out of the whole challenge can at least be ten minutes. So, okay, how am I doing here? Alt Z, maybe we can see a little bit better. Ooh, that was much better to see. We should uh, get more spiky teeth going, I think. So, a bit more jagged here. <clears throat> okay, I think uh, this should do. How am I doing for time? 541. We can still refine this mouth a little bit. And... Oh, more, sp more spiky teeth. That can never go wrong on a pumpkin. I think we're coming to uh, some sort of a jagged... Yeah. That's it. That's going to be it. Alt Z to see it again. L to select the linked when we're over these uh, vertices. Actually, I'll switch to three here for these ones. Alt S to scale it out now. We ha have the shape. That's correct. So Alt E extrude along face normals and then we can go down and alt z again so we see we can do alt s to scale it down even further make sure that it goes into the head enough alt z 
to go exterior. A to select everything, and then Shift N to recalculate those normals. And then I have bool tools enabled, so I'm going to pick this one, shift select this one, and do control minus on the numpad. And that's cut out the face. And then we can apply this one, control A on that one, and then we hide this one. We don't need that one anymore. And then I've still got 438, so we can do a few variations maybe. I'll do shift D to duplicate it. It's always fun to have some different faces for Halloween maybe. Uh, but I'm going to use the same, temp same template. So if I move this one to the side, one good thing if we want some variations here is that we could use, uh, again, the proportional editing here. So I'll go back to smooth this time, tab into edit mode, A to get a vertex going, or select. Oh, I switched it off again, proportional, so G. And then scroll the mouse wheel down a little bit to make it less. The tricky thing would be to change maybe the face shape without... Um, uh, since they're going to be quite similar, these. And we have to be careful not to break that geometry. It's very uh, delicate around uh, that area where there's a lot of vertices. So maybe we could scale it. Scale that one down. G. Change the eye shape, maybe. Uh, these are not going to be radically different. You should probably uh, do them separate to begin with if you want them to be very different. I'm just going to do alterations of it here, so complications, I nearly said. Okay, and this one could go in a little bit further here, maybe. So, there. And we've got three minutes to go. We should put a body on it as well. That's a spare head that he's got, so I'll do control A. It's going to be a low poly body here, and we have to keep the same size for the head here. So we'll do shift A and then introduce a new cube here Welcome. and shift select this one control l link the materials tab into edit mode a select everything scale down to zero and uh, this could be green i guess scale it down and then this one we have to enable the uh, pull tool so well auto mirror and then l scale we're gonna go for the traditional low poly body here i've got two minutes 36 to do a body now so it's gonna have to break some sort of record so control r loop cut and remember, this is going to be a video that finishes as this time goes out, because this is going to be exactly 10 minutes, this video. <laughs> so, so this is going to be the enemy for uh, that little uh, platformer tutorial that we're making. I have to go for an extremely primitive body here. Control plus scale Y. And whatever result we come up with now, that platformer is going to have to endure. So I hope I don't embarrass myself now <laughs> with a terrible body. But we're making it, we're making it simple, so... I embarrass myself enough anyway. G, put some black shoes on there. Move that one out. I've got one minute 50. The display is going off. That's no good. And here we do the traditional. I've done this body quite a few times, very similar now, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem, I don't think. S to scale. But we do have to scale this whole thing up a little bit. Scale. So front view, scale it up to there. And then. Control A, apply that one. I'm not going to be able to rig it in uh, 1 minute 25, unfortunately. So we have to live without the rigging now. Scale Y. I have to rig it before the game, of course. But well, I can do that in a bonus material video sometime. So I to inset that one. Move it out. E to extrude. S to scale. Front view. Okay, that's not so nice. We have to make this wider. So I'll Control Z this first. Alt. 1 minute to go. Scale that one up. We have to have a little bit bigger arms. So E to extrude, S to scale, front view. E to extrude, S to scale. E to extrude, E to extrude, S to scale. And we'll just do palm hands here as well. E to extrude, scale Z, E to extrude, E to extrude again. Scale Z, or no, scale Y. 40 seconds. I hope you enjoyed this video. <laughs> so this had to be a world first. I had to do it. It had to be done. We'll make uh, black gloves on here as well. And uh, there we go. Should he have a belt as well? He'll have some sort of a belt on here. So 24 seconds to go. I hope uh, <laughs> you've had a great week so far. And uh, I'm going to get some hate in the comments for breaking my own rules here of uh, making sure that all the videos are too long. But I had to try it. It has to be done. So this is going to be the enemy. In, uh, I've got nine seconds to go. And I'm going to see you in the next uh, 10 minute modeling challenge. So until then, we can hide this one. Bye!